Hello, this is Crane's Creatures. I'm very glad to see you here and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Did you enjoy my previous video? I bet you did, because I received so many kind words and so much love. Thank you very much for that. In this video I'm going to paint the doll and all the stuff I made in the first part of this project. I guess I'll start with Zappa, the pistol. First I paint it in the base color, which is called dark grey. And after that, it's time for the smaller details. Unfortunately, most of the process remained off camera because the reason I told about in the first video. Now I'm gonna show you what I've made, and forgive me my ugly fingernails. <laughs> Just look how good and detailed Popo the minigun turned out. I'm so proud of myself. And also, look at the fish bones. It was such an adventure to sculpt the shark head, but I think I've done a good job with that. I also sculpted a teeny tiny chomper in addition to all the other stuff. So cute, isn't it? So let's paint this all, and this is where the chaos begins. <laughs> First of all, I didn't like the way the fish bones looked, speaking of its texture. I was ready to throw it all away and start from scratch, but I decided to finish it first, just to look at the result.
By the way, I also decided to change the color of the shark head because it was too shiny and metallic looking, in my opinion. Fun fact, it's more interesting and fun to me to sculpt than to paint. I hope to sculpt my own figures or ball joint and dolls in the future. It's finished. Cute, really?
Do you remember I said I hated how the painted fish bones looked? Forget about it. I changed my mind as soon as I started to blush it with soft pastels. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't give up on it, it continued to paint.
Now I am blushing the minigun with soft pastels to make it look dirty and shabby. She uses it so often that it was worn out eventually. Let's finally start painting the body, shall we? I changed the color of her shoes twice or thrice, I can't tell exactly how many times I did it, but I did it because I didn't like the color. Same goes to her glove and pants color, except the fact that I changed the color 4 or 5 times before I get the one I was satisfied with. Yes, I know, I'm a pathological perfectionist. Another fun fact, I already told you that I have struggled a lot with all those color changes and such, but do you know that I was very close to ruin the doll ones? When I first painted the body in a light beige skin tone, it suddenly got cracked for some reason. I was so upset, but what could I do about it? So I had to wash the paint off and for some reason I decided that this was a great idea to wash it off with pure acetone. I realized I screwed up when I noticed that the plastic of her body started to melt, so I immediately stopped. I had to sand the body a little bit after that, because it damaged a little. I was so scared. How could I be so stupid? The second attempt at applying the skin tone went better, except that the paint got cracked again, but on her fingers only. Unfortunately, I only noticed it when the doll was almost finished.
I love to paint small details. Maybe I should paint the 3D printed figures and make a video about it. What do you think? The reason I change the colors so often in this project is that I love unsaturated and sometimes dirty color palette in my dolls. And because I'm also a perfectionist. <laughs> Thank you.
Can you already see how much blushing improves the look? I love how it already looks like. Frankenstein face sculpt in the first part of this video, you can forget about it. <laughs> I was so sure that her face sculpt was perfect for Jinx, but when I started to paint I realized that it wasn't, to the point I couldn't look at her anymore. So I decided to keep the head and use it for a different project one day, because the face up was pretty good actually. At this point I can say for sure that this doll was literal jinx for me. <laughs> this time I thought that Venus is my perfect victim. First, I always sketch the eyes. It is my favorite part of a face-up and uh, the most difficult one for me. Except the eyelashes. I hate to draw them. They always turn out worse than I expect them to be. Since I am a perfectionist and everything has to be perfect, I can spend an entire evening trying to sketch the perfect eye shape. This time was not an exception, especially because Jinx is an existing character, and I had to make my doll not only look like her, but to have her vibes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> After a while, when I was finally satisfied with the shape of her eyes, I sketched eyebrows and started to blush the face. I still wasn't sure about her. I thought that the doll is pretty, but she still didn't have those vibes which Jinx has. But when I added eyeshadows and the dark circles under her eyes, I finally felt it. This is her. This is Jinx. My favorite part is freckles. Freckles, freckles, freckles. And also veins. 
those I must have for every doll that I create. So is the white spot above the upper lip. As I mentioned before, I hate painting eyelashes, because I cannot learn how to do it perfectly. Even though I'm a part of the one-of-a-kind community for more than four years now, this is my weak spot. But a few moments later, here they are, possibly the most perfect than ever. <laughs> I made a wig for her off camera. It was a pure hell, by the way. And now let's make a stand for her. This is a piece of wood I bought at a craft store and the bricks I pre-made of a styrofoam. I used the same styrofoam to create the rock stand for my mermaid and also for the stones on the diorama I photoshoot my dolls on.
As soon as the bricks are painted, it's time to make a dirt. I mixed acrylic texture paste and brown and black acrylics. When the paste is cured, there is only a washing left. And are you ready to see the final result? She turned out so beautiful, don't you think? I spent so much time, energy and I put so much effort on her and I think it is definitely worth it. I decided to keep her in my own collection, because I'm afraid I can't part with her anymore at this point. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it to make this doll. If so, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I don't post often, but when I do, it is an historical event, like this time. <laughs>
see you in my next project. Bye!